All right, more breaking news from Sky Fox as you look over the USC campus and a huge show of force by LAPD. Chelsea Edwards is on the ground. And Chelsea, what are you seeing? Yeah, well, we just saw them coming in. So this started just after 10 o'clock. It started with a group of about 40 officers, 40 patrol units. Uh, they had their sirens, their lights going, and they came here down Jefferson. And again, just kind of really organized, going very fast. And then they turned into this gate here on McClintock. Now, as that was happening, you know, a lot of students walking around here, very confused. They had all gotten the message that this campus was closed, that only students and staff could go in. But no one was really expecting a presence like this and moments later hard to see now but if you look actually it sounds like we're looking at Sky Fox now which has a better vantage point than we do but we could see smoke rising and that was after we heard what sounded like several flashbangs so from where we're standing it looks like that's coming from Alumni Park where that encampment or where that that tent protest was set up uh, not clear if that's exactly what's happening um, this is obviously the reason why we were told that we weren't allowed to go in that nobody's allowed to go in because LAP was obviously planning this. This was certainly an organized uh, thing as they went in there one by one by one. We're hearing more sirens again. We just saw a couple of fire trucks go by, helicopters in the air, and again, just a lot of confusion. You know, we have not gotten a lot of information here on the ground, and they're not letting us inside the campus. So it's not really clear what's going on in there. Uh, hearing from Sky Fox, it sounds like they're lining up along one of those streets inside the campus, but again, not getting a lot of information here on the ground. I can and hear more sirens. All right, so this is how it started again. If you look down Jefferson, you can see those lights and sirens down at the end. They're coming in waves. So there have been four or five of these maybe now. I would count at least 75 uh, marked officers, marked units that are inside right now. And they keep coming from the same direction just as they are right now on that side of Jefferson coming this way toward McClintock and then they're turning into this gate. So obviously something is planned. Again, we do know that LAPD is on tactical alert right now and they did warn people to stay away from this area. I mean, this is probably what they were planning on doing. This was the response it sounds like they were planning for. Now this looks different than some of these patrol units. Hard to tell because of the light. This doesn't those, look like uh, a normal LAPD Those vehicles unit, where not you come in with like a SWAT situation or a situation where the officers need to, uh, they need to get off of that vehicle quickly. And Chelsea, we should also tell you from Sky Fox, we could see what it looked like at Alumni Park, the encampment there. It seemed like they were peaceful. It didn't seem as if there were any police officers there as, as yet. But again, what we have said over the last couple of days is that USC is private property. So the university has the right to call in LAPD when somebody is on campus and they don't want them there. So in this case, if they're camping, the university is able to say, no, you're not allowed to do that. Meantime, we uh, continue to watch as these officers are trying to navigate through this traffic. And, and Chelsea, yes, I saw fire trucks too. Do you still see some smoke or anything that suggests that there is a need for fire trucks? What we're seeing now is more of the dissipated smoke. So the initial flashbangs or whatever it was that we heard, I want to clarify, we're not clear exactly what that was, uh, but we did hear several pops sounded like flashbangs, and then we saw that heavy smoke rising from what appears to be the park. That has since dissipated. You can still kind of see it in the air, but nothing like it was when this first happened. And that was just a few minutes after the initial wave of police units entered the USC campus. So, you know, something happened right after they got in there. And then it seems, at least from our perspective, again, we're being held outside the, the gates here, but it seems relatively calm in there as of now. We haven't heard any other pops, any other flashbangs, and haven't seen any other smoke. And I do want to note those fire trucks that we saw earlier. Those were actually going the opposite direction. They turned to the right and continued on to Jefferson Boulevard. So not sure if there's a different entrance that they were going into or whether that was unrelated. Um, uh, but those those are not here at this gate right now, Susan. Oh, no. I saw two fire trucks already on the campus, Chelsea. That's what I was referencing. Um, but it is an incredible show of force. If you figure there's one to two officers in each one of those um, in each one of those units. 
Right. So now we're so we've got different agencies here. We're all LAPD, but this is Hollywood Division. Um, we've seen several different kinds of units that have rolled up over the last 20 minutes or so. And yeah, I mean, you think about the sheer number of this. So again, I mean, we think more than 75. I mean, you're watching this live. This is another five going in here. This is a different kind of unit that we've seen from the last 20 or 30 minutes or so. So this is a Custody huge services, presence here, which obviously the, very coordinated. They're getting ready to arrest a lot of people and transport them in those vehicles. We've got Justin uh, O'Brien up in Sky Fox. And Justin, um, what is your perspective from up there? Yes, good evening, Susan. Uh, looking down here at Alumni Park, uh, you see all the uh, the protesters there, very calm. They almost appear as if they're having a little discussion or, or even praying. Uh, earlier uh, in daylight, I tried to make a bit of a head count. I counted there were about between 60 and 80 uh, protesters uh, down there. But at this stage, they seem very peaceful and as almost uh, as if uh, they're planning or understanding that the police have arrived and uh, they're going to, uh, no doubt, uh, work out their next uh, move that's going to occur here tonight. Uh, they, so you don't see any police wise, officers so there? So far, you don't see police no, officers I, amongst them? No, you don't uh, see any, Susan. Just to give you an indication of uh, the distance, uh, in the centre of frame or the centre of the picture there is the park, and over here to the left is uh, all the police. So we're sort of talking uh, a good uh, a good five, uh, six hundred metres away. Uh, the police officers are over here, I believe. So, uh, and uh, just listening to uh, the scanner, uh, the police officers actually have been told to, uh, to just turn up and uh, stay in their vehicles. Uh, don't do anything at this stage until they're told, uh, I assume, uh, to move towards the park and no doubt give these uh, protesters the opportunity to leave peacefully or no doubt uh, be taken into custody because we actually have seen uh, some crimes committed here tonight just in the in the way of vandalism susan right the vandalism that chelsea mentioned earlier which has to do with defacing the tommy trojan statue also graffiti on the stairs all related to their pro-palestinian stance Right now, we are going to take a quick break. We're keeping an eye on the situation, but it looks as if LAPD staging for a possible mass arrest of all these people on the USC campus. We'll be right back.